Today we are headed to the antique mall to see what we can pick up to resell. Now I know going to an antique mall seems kind of counterintuitive because the prices they have are usually a lot higher or at least a little bit higher than a thrift store. But the way I look at it, these are resellers. They have went out hunting for this stuff thinking that this is good stuff to resell. So I figure as a reseller, I could go get the resellers stuff they found to resell and then purchase it to resale for resale. You're a genius. And the last time we were at this particular antique mall, I found this beautiful vintage Basset Hound oil painting. I picked up for $10 and recently sold for 60. Oh, I love spring, but I'm gonna tell you what, living in the South, I cannot stand once summer gets here because I just wasn't built to be a Southerner because I cannot stand the heat. Oh, look at that lamp back there. What does that say? Something gone with the wind lamp, $50. Oh my gosh, that is spectacular. I like how they have it set up right here. Everything vintagey. Ooh, vintage goodness. This booth is called the Bargain Booth. Oh wow, look at that. What is that? Is that velvet? I would drape myself in velvet if it was socially acceptable. That is velvet. That is stunning. All right, this is piquing my interest. What does this say? It is $20 needlepoint. Very nice. Oh wow, this mirror is $20 as well. That's really, really nice too. A few little chips here and there. All right, I'm not seeing any bargains just yet. Not unless you're looking for yourself, of course. John Deere. I don't know if that's vintage or not. It's $10, so not enough meat left on the bone for me. Cookie Joe, 15. McCoy, very nice. But even though it's nice, remember, we're not looking for personal, we're looking to resell. So we need things that are an actual bargain. Mm, a little too pricey for me. $15, $10, $6. And it's just really like, you know, costume jewelry. Nothing really expensive. But it is very lovely to look at. Ooh, I love this. That's really, really pretty. Let's see if it has a price on it. Here's the tag. It's hiding from me. It is $30. Now, for my own personal use, I would get that. And I love it, but I'm not gonna buy it. For <laughs> I don't have $30 in my little fund just yet to be buying home decor, but I do like that. Framed artwork is 30% off. I like the way these look. Oh, $89 though, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a no-go. I have found artwork in this little nook in here many, many times. There is a painting of Jesus. Someone did a pretty good job on that. Very nice. And some hobbyist pieces down here. Those are really pretty. And I do buy hobbyist pieces to resell. I think they're just as beautiful. You know, a lot of people who are hobbyists have a really good knack for painting. You don't have to be a professional. This is really pretty. This is only $5. Hmm. I like this for $5. What do we think? $5. That may be a yes. And here's another hobbyist piece. A little bit of discoloration on some of it. Looks like it has, where it's been scuffed. So I like it, but I think that really takes away from the beauty of it. But this one looks pretty good. Hmm. Oh, let's take a closer look. Now there is some painting up here on the edge, but I'm sure a frame would cover that. Okay, I'm not going to carry it around with me. I'm just going to tuck it back behind <laughs> the rest, and then we'll, we'll think about it. Okay, we're going to take serious consideration with this one because I think it looks really good. All right, we'll, we'll put that on our check back list. All right, I love this. 
this is $275, well worth it. How fantastic is that? Oh, this is stunningly gorgeous. Look at that, $99. Oh, I would definitely have this in my home. That is so good, so good. And the pie crust tables, Shh, I'm gonna tell you what, I would love these in my home. How much are these? 200 for both tables, that's really, really good. Vintage mahogany two-tier table. Oh, those are stunning. Oh, hey, I didn't mean to startle you, but I forgot to mention how much money we have for this trip to the thrift. For the month of April, we have $204 left that we can find items to flip for a profit. All right, back to thrifting. And another reason I like coming to the antique mall is because I can learn things about different categories to resell. Um, but that's not to say that some of these resellers don't have the correct information on their items. Sometimes they're wrong too. So I like to do my research both ways, on eBay, online, and coming out to places like this. All right, these are the signs we'd like to see. 40% off everything. Oh, that's really neat. 15 with 40% off. Huh. Let's take a closer look. The cord looks old on it. It does look old. I don't see anything else about it. 15 with 40% off. All right, that's another thing we're going to have to think about. It's not extremely heavy, so I don't know. Like I said, it has an older cord on it. Okay, we'll think about it. I cannot make out that name. Denison? Denison? Bueller? Bueller? Wood mirror. A little warped. Really cool. 15 with 40% off. I just don't like that it's warped. Hmm. 11 boots are packed with different things. I love it like that. I don't know, I like the hunt. I think that's why I like yard sales and <laughs> things like that. I love a good hunt. Now over here was where I found that Basset Hound. I remember the Harley Davidson jacket because it was behind it, but I don't know, I don't really see anything else in this little booth, but that was an awesome find. I do like these bookends. These are only $8 for the pair. That's not bad. They're not very heavy. Oh, they do have some chips. Yeah, they feel kind of cheap. Oh, yeah, there we go. It says a barcode. I'm telling you, the vintage stuff, you can tell because it has some weight to it. Those are very flimsy. Okay, this mirror is $10. They're calling it a vintage wood vanity mirror. It looks like it's handmade. Hmm. All right, that's very unusual. Well, that's, that's one word for it. Oh my goodness, they're lamps. You gotta be kidding me. They're not plugged in though. Where's the light? Is light on the inside? Oh my gosh, okay. That's very techy-licious, but not for $15, and the other's $24. I shared this picture the last time we ran here. Look how good this is. Oh, oh my goodness. I could see that in my home. Now that's pretty cool. It is a gilded mirror. But you know, I don't think the silver in things like this sell as well as the gold. I could be wrong, but I don't see a lot of the silver items like this selling. And it is $25. Okay, everything in this booth is 60% off, and looks like they've got some good little things in here. I think we've been in this booth before. Of course, after a while, all the booths start looking the same. $10.50. I don't know if this is something newer. Yeah, it's got a barcode. Oh, so sad. We are now on the other side. As you can see, we came through this tunnel that is really pretty mural through here. And now we are on this half of the thrift store. It is a huge thrift store. I don't remember what used to be in here ages and ages ago, but it is humongous. Oh, that's nice. $75 for a set of two. Ooh, it's sparkly. 
Oh, that's heavy. What is this? Hershey Molds? What? Eight dollars. Hmm. Never seen anything like that before. All right, what is that? What kind of instrument is that? Hmm. Five dollars. Anesco. Huh. What is it though? I have no idea what instrument that is. 50% right, off the purple and black tags. I don't have much in here. Ooh, what is that? Of course it has a white tag. That's really neat. Hematite? Soapstone? Okay, yeah, I can see it now. It is soapstone. $60. I have people ask me, what do I look for when I go into the thrift store or when I go into, you know, like the antique mall to find to resell? Since there is so much to choose from when you come to an antique mall, I just look for things that stand out to me, things that are quality. That's why I like to touch everything and pick things up because I really believe you can feel quality. And if something just piques my interest and I'm gravitated toward it, I will pick it up. I will do some research on it. And of course, one of the other factors is how much can I get it for where there's still meat left on the bone for me to resell it. The more you know. This booth has everything for a dollar. I have found a couple items in here in the past. I figure, you know, you can't go wrong with a dollar. What is that? That's actually really pretty. Excuse me. We are now heading upstairs. This place is humongous. And so far I have found the wooden bowl. This booth, 50% off. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but I know it's a, an elephant. What gave it away? Hmm. Oh, and there's another one. I think I like this larger one. Let's look at this. I'm, no, oh, phew, forget it. It's Hobby Lobby. We're going to come back. It's Hobby Lobby. So they fooled us. You fooled me, Hobby Lobby. You fooled me. We can't get fooled again. Now these are really nice with the tusk. Oh, how awful. The tusk are gone on this one. What a shame. Hmm. Huh. All right, I like these lamps. Eight. But did this sign say 50% off? It sure did. Hmm. They'd be really pretty on nightstands. I like that. Some of the paint is off of it. Uh, they're four dollars but I think I may do a Google image real quick I'm deciding to not get those lamps you know they're cheap and they're not really not going for a lot I mean maybe both of them for 30 35 dollars which really isn't enough of money for me to have to deal with it because they're so fragile and the packing alone would take a while so I do kind of um, put that into consideration when I'm picking up fragile and large items Antique Mall, we spent $21.40 and we purchased four items. The Jesus oil painting, I really liked this. This is, you know, this artist's interpretation of Jesus. It has a lot of pastels in it. The frame alone is very, very beautiful. It was $15. The artist's name is on the back of it. It was actually done at a senior citizen center, I think out in California. So someone painted this and it was 1987 when they painted it. But I think for $15, it is really, really good. And I'll probably price it right around $75, maybe $85. At this particular antique mall, they have a couple of booths where everything is a dollar. Found this beautiful bowl. Now, I have found other things in this little dollar section. Nothing that's going to bring me $50, $100. But if I can turn $1 into possibly $20, that's still a really good turnaround. Um, I'm thinking this is a carved bowl. I don't know a lot about woodworking, but correct me if I'm wrong. I think if it were turned, it would have something here on the bottom where it was on the, is that a lathe? Once again, I have no idea. I depend on a lot of you to <laughs> help me get educated on things like this. And I'm never afraid to say, I don't know, because I love to learn. I love to learn anything about pottery and glass and wood. I just, 
I am a forever lifelong learner. So whatever you know about woodworking, leave a comment below so we can educate each other. And maybe some other people are watching, they don't know it either. So if we can help each other out, that's the reason I love this community because we're not afraid to say, hey, I don't know what this is. Can you help me? And we all just learn from each other. I love that there's a crack right here. There's a hole in here, but I do believe it is carved. This is just one piece of wood. And the keywords I'm thinking of using are farmhouse. Um, catch-all, maybe something you could throw your change in here, put your keys in here, put it by your uh, door, throw your keys in here, your wallet, whatever. This is the thing I see when I see a beautiful piece of wood like this. And I probably price it right around $20. As I said, if I'm, if I can turn $1 into $20, yeah, I'll take it all day long. And the last items I've found are these beautiful molded lampshades. And the cloth on here feels like oil cloth. I believe that's what it's called. My mother used to tell me that they would have oil cloth, table cloths, because they were easier to wipe clean. And she would go to, uh, she called it a five, five and dime store. And you would, they would cut it off for them. They'd have like big rolls of them and they would just cut off the length that you wanted. And that's what they use for tablecloths. And this is what it feels like to me because it's easy to clean. There is a little discoloration along the thread here. But other than that, there's a little bit of rusting here on the clip that goes on the lamp. But the actual plastic molding itself is in fantastic condition. You could take these, put a new ribbon on here, put another, you know, another fabric on here, even just a real fabric if you wanted them. But I believe these were originally eight and they had everything half off. If I'm wrong, I'll pop up the right price on here, but I do believe I picked these up for $4. And I just love them. They're dainty, they're beautiful, they're vintage. I'm thinking 50s, maybe 60s on these. And from what I'm looking at, one of these has sold in the past for about $24, $25. So I am gonna price the two of mine for 50 and see how that goes. But I think in a little girl's room, it would be so cute or on a lady's vanity. If you're looking for that 50s vibe, I think it'd be precious. And I actually think a pink ribbon around here would look even better or even a green to go with the green leaves on here would look better than the one that's already on here. We started off this trip to the thrift with $204 and we spent $22 over at the antique mall, leaving us $100 $182 that we have left for the rest of the month of April to find items to flip for a profit. I hope you are enjoying this series so far. I am having a blast trying to find items to flip for a profit. If you're new to my channel, I am trying to save $4,000 to start on the dream kitchen makeover in my home. And, you know, I don't want to redo everything because, you know, we're, we're not living like the Rockefellers over here. Help me, I'm poor. So that's why I'm trying to find other people's junk to flip for a profit and saving some of that money every month until I reach $4,000 so we can start on the flooring in my kitchen. If you want to catch up on my Starting From Zero series, I'll leave that playlist right here. And if you just enjoy thrifting videos in general, I'll leave one right here I think you might like. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.